just a little bit earlier, the, the monsters are curated from, you're going to see uh, sets of monsters from various pieces of content. We've got some you know, Silver Rose uh, monsters, some vampires, some goblins, and they are put together, and you're, you're going to fight them at random stages. Sorry so, that I, I came in a little bit late to this. I was uh, I, doing I, stuff, I, I, some stuff. As I talked about, it, it's but, not uh, just trial yeah. and dungeon bosses. You're going to find There's story bosses. You're going to find story bosses. Yeah. You're going to find uh, public dungeon champions, yep. world bosses, and... Uh, taking these and then curating them and then using them for uh, this experience has, has the team is, is uh, kind of reworked some of the abilities. So it'll be iconic and you'll remember. So if you're used to fighting these things, you're going to, you're going to, it's going to make sense. Well, oh, they're talking about the endless so dungeon. Use, they're they're going to put, I guess, thematically stuff yeah, from the, uh, the game that's that already in the game. Right. I mean, that makes exactly. sense. Yeah. Yeah. Familiar, but different. Yeah. yeah. Um, Speaking of which, so um, contrary to other type of instance content, there's no normal or veteran version. Correct. That is a big one. On that, that is a big one. Yeah. There is no normal or veteran here. Everybody is in the same difficulty. So if you come in here solo, naturally we know that duo players are going to get further, uh, or duo players or players with a companion are going to get further than solo players, and that's fine. Um, also, it, it allows you, let's say you come in here solo, start fighting through for a little bit and you notice you're getting too, pretty tough oh you know what i'm gonna bring in my friend and then that friend's gonna jump in here and, and be able to help you out and do carrying on and stuff so yeah we wanted that that kind of flexibility to have solo or or duo but that's the same difficulty and i think once people see how the system works it they're gonna to realize they're, 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 they're also gonna see why that yes, decision yes, yes. was Absolutely. made yep. yeah. so what does all of that mean for leaderboards um leaderboards are segmented into solo or duo so if you uh, if you come in here solo and you stay solo through the entirety of your run, and so, so all your threads are gone, uh, you will be on, put on the solo leaderboard. But the minute you summon a companion or bring a friend in, you're then put on the duo leaderboard, and you can't go back to the solo leaderboard. So people can't, you know, cheese, cheese it. it right? Yeah, cheese not like it. anybody would ever. Oh uh, yeah, that'd be the first <laughs> patch we would have. Uh, so they're gonna have a leaderboard for this endless dungeon. Like Interesting. So um, in previous content, we've given players the ability to choose different types of buffs that they want to use. Right. Um, Endless Archive has something similar. Again, similar, but different. Right. <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> hearkening back to the roguelike roots that we have here. So every run is going to be different. And we wanted that kind of uh, individualized uh, chance so that every time you come in here, you're experiencing something new. So we have uh, Hermaeus Moore is going to help you out with verses and visions. As you complete a stage, you are given a choice of a verse, and it's you have a choice of two verses, and the two verses are chosen for random, uh, and you make that choice, and it's basically a buff that lasts for the next stage. These are really impactful, short duration uh, buffs that are really going to help you. So the idea being that after you complete a stage, you kind of know where you're going. You're like, okay, I want to choose the best version of well, the best possible version. Oh, this is cool. And then visions are long duration buffs. And those are chosen at the end of cycles or at the end of arcs. And you choose that and that persists. Those are stackable. They're a little bit less impactful than verses and they're stackable. And you get those persist through the entirety of the rest of your run. So you have two means to change up your run as you're going. I'm going to tell you all right now, this makes a lot more sense when you see it in game. <laughs> Trust me, we're going like, to show, totally show it in just a moment. Yeah. Like, the first time I heard all this from Finn, I'm like, it's a lot of stuff. Yeah. But it makes sense <laughs> it does, once you it see does, it. It does, it does. And we are going to be hopping in game in just a minute. Sure. But first, we know a lot of people are at, like, like literally chat. right what? now, Chat's asking scoring. about What's rewards. rewards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's touch yep. on the rewards real quick, the yeah. types of things that you can get from this. <laughs> so there's multiple mechanisms for rewards here. I mentioned Archival Fortunes uh, earlier. That is the new currency, and that's going to unlock, and that's going to be – how you kind of get the majority of the rewards. Uh, we are going to have class sets. We had talked about some idiot in Germany linked that. Yeah, that's that loud mouth. <laughs> uh, linked the, the idea of class sets. So that's cool, and, class sets. But those are available in here, but you have two ways to get those. You can use your archival fortunes and save up and buy those. at There's specialized vendors in here. Yep. Uh, or you can get them as drops yep. from the lab oh. yourself uh, or possibly other means. Some other means. Uh, and, and there's also other collectibles in here that's not just class sets. There are things in here that are going to help you specifically on your run. So you have scrolls that will grant you an extra verse for the stage that you're currently on. Oh, that is Count cool. That will forever help you yep. uh, for that is uh, cool. future runs. So there's a lot of stuff in here. That so it's like an XP scroll, but, but like the, the to get you an extra verse. That is, there's a ton. that's actually pretty neat. 
so it's it's yeah it, it sounds really good and we're gonna show you all um just a list of a lot of the rewards when we hop in game which speaking of which i think we should do i think yeah that's a good that idea too. so we are going to get prepared to get into the game uh we need to step away for just a moment just to kind of get some things rearranged here so we can bring lauren into play too mm -hmm. we're going to show you that teaser trailer of endless archive one more time while we get set up and then we will be back with some live gameplay so stick around So October 30th, November 14th. I just want to remind everybody real quick that we do have Twitch drops on right now. If you link your ESO and Twitch accounts, you will get yourself this tentacular tome emote. Can we just use the word tentacular as an adjective forever? All, All the time. time. <laughs> All the time. It, right? Ever since that came up. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Yes, tentacular. It's tentacular. I like it. I like it. So, we are back. We've somehow just rearranged everything yes. in about 60 seconds, which was amazing. Quick change. And we Quick have change. Lauren here now. Hey, Lauren. Hi. So welcome to Lauren Kaiser. She is an associate encounter designer on Finn's team for ESO. Um, how long have you worked on the Elder Scrolls Online? So I joined Zoss in 2019 uh, on the QA team, and then I just transitioned to the encounter design team uh, about a year ago now chat say hi to lauren <laughs> welcoming her to the stream um what's what's one of your favorite things that you have worked on since you've been here hmm. so i actually have two favorites and they're both pieces of content that were released uh, in update 38 and the first is the feral gallery objective um so for those that don't know uh it's an objective in apocrypha and it's um hermaeus mora's collection of fantastic creatures from all across tamriel and with that objective, I had a blast creating all of the little scenes with different monsters, both on display and running amok, um, and giving them their own unique story. And then my other favorite is uh, Rune Master Jomara, and he is the Arcanist world boss in Apocrypha. And with him, I had a lot of fun um, putting twists on a bunch of different Arcanist player abilities and different apocryphal elements and meshing them all together for what was hopefully a pretty cool and challenging boss fight. Yeah. Yep. I mean, next time you all run across that, now you can think of Lauren. Just there you go. <laughs> now you can blame Lauren. You're right. <laughs> just think of her laughing behind the boss <laughs> as she <laughs> died. All right, so we are going to hop into an internal development server to show you all Endless Archive gameplay. We this are. way you can see everything that Finn just talked about yep. in Here action. Here we go. In action. Yes. So this is the index. This is where... The foyer. Uh, no, it's the index. Th there's the index. <laughs> right. This foyer? is the index. This is where you start <laughs> in, in uh, Endless Archive. I say foyer, I think. Does anyone else say foyer or uh, is it foyer? I don't. It's fancy, right? <laughs> He's Canadian. He's Canadian. <laughs> uh, so this is where you would you would start. It's got some pretty cool uh, visuals here. Master Malcast is off to the side. Now we are not going to take the quest. Yeah, no spoilers. Here we're not because we don't want to spoil yep. uh, quest elements too. He'll pop up from time to time and you'll you'll see him. But uh, Rich and Lauren, uh, I'm sorry, the Lauren show is going to start right. here in a minute. <laughs> Rich in. is going to jump right in. Lauren is currently playing a tank and Rich is playing his best at a DPS. I'm on my Stampler, yes. Yeah, and you're seeing Rich's gameplay you're here. Seeing Rich's so you'll gameplay. see you'll see Lauren running around, uh, yep. making sure that he stays alive. But uh, so one of the first things to kind of point out when you first come in, um, you have a breathing room. You do. Like nothing swarms you right up. Right. The, bat. the way you started off off is you go towards these little portals. These little ink blob things. And that starts uh. kind of starts the fun. Yes, and this starts the fun. You see this little wheel here that shows up on the screen. That's telling you. And you can actually see it in the top right of his screen, too, where it's underneath more, more his bones. That tells you what stage, cycle, and arc that you are currently on. 
and that is super and important. It is super yeah, important for strategy because of versus exactly things. because yeah. when you get to stage three after you complete stage three, you know that a boss, a cycle boss, or an arc boss is coming up. So you're gonna want to prepare and choose the best. So this is like BDSA basically. Oh, somebody was asking, can you use the armory assistant in here? They don't it fight. is leader board content but oh, uh yeah board. it's leaderboard content so not typically yeah um, but again it's a good question though yeah. but, good question. but again like it's not time based right it's all, not time based right? Right. so you don't have to be crazy efficient in this like yeah you're just your focus is on going as deep as you can for sure um, so here, this is the first choice for a verse. So if you see this, these are, this is the options that you have. You are, you are afforded two choices, Ooh. and these are random. So Rich actually scored <laughs> big here. More this is chance. actually one of the Yay. big. Oh, that's actually the, it's sick. It's a really good one. Buffs all of your class abilities. And then this is another one, Stamina Renewal. So these verses are separated into three separate categories. There's Offense, Defense, and Utility. And you get two choices from what, any of those categories. There are... 40 plus verses and 40 plus visions that can possibly show up. That'll just kind of rotate through. They'll kind of rotate through. They don't, no, they it's don't rotate. Orange. It's all, it's, it's completely, completely random, which, which you're going to see. And the stages uh, operate like this. You see these like little groups. Of, all of this is set in Apocrypha. So the, the visuals, if you're used to, to, to going around kind of Hermaeus Mora's realm, you're going to recognize uh, a lot of these visuals. Um, there are wrinkles. You can see some goblins here. Like I said, the monster sets are curated from all over uh, Tamriel, so you're going to see a, a, a good mix. And sometimes it may not make sense, but it makes sense because these are the stories that you're you're, you're kind of invading. Buttons. That's okay. There you go. So you know, I will try to remember to uh, take a take a breath and look at some of the world building. Yeah, because for sure. I think. Uh, Mars, Mars did, did a great, an unbelievable Mars did job of putting all job. of this yeah. stuff together. Like, all right, so here's another, another verse. Um, you know, I saw a question in chat about do both Ooh, players critical get the same buffs? No, oh, yeah. actually, uh, yeah, actually, they don't. Actually, which is really, really uh, good question. That's a very good question. Each person gets their own selection. So if you just have a you, tank, Mike. yeah, it, yes, you got to get killed. <laughs> this you. is one of my favorite verses. <laughs> this is the one, and you're gonna see it next. <laughs> this is one where you get to shake down monsters. You basically get a synergy, and you get to punch them, and gold piles fall out. So it is, it's. It's not, uh, <coughs> Wait, it's, one what? Of those, it's not going to be super impactful for DPS wise, but it's just a funny, it's fun. uh, yeah, it's just a funny uh, little thing See, that you can choose. There he is. There you punched him and he got the gold pile right there yeah. on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I saw another oh, one. that's so that's cool though. Thing. If you start solo and then bring out a companion, does that put you on the duo? It does. It, it does. does. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. There's your punch. Oh, oh. oh I hit my inventory oh. list. <laughs> so there's going to be another one uh, coming up here. I'm, s I'm sure there's going to be another. One. Yeah, you should be able to get there. He was. Yeah, Laura killed him. She, she's the tank, bro. <laughs> 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 Remember the carry part of it? Yeah, that's right? true. That's true. That's accurate. So we're going to be going through um, an entire arc here. Yes. So everyone can kind at of see. At least an entire yeah, arc. At least, to kind and of maybe see. even a little bit Probably more. A little bit more. Yeah, little just bit more. to draw Michelle. Trying to show. So the difficulty is uh, uh, in more ways than one as you progress through the arcs. Actually, uh, is that yours, Lauren? Is That's that your my, book? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, so she got the verse that gives you a little uh, book. One thing real quick, Rich, uh, hit F5. Yep. If, you, if you hit F5 up the corner, you'll we'll see Mora's Boons. These will let you know what current your current verses and actually we'll show it again when he gets a vision yeah. oh well, i guess we're just gonna start lauren is all go no stop all right that was a tip for trial so you can see here this is yeah. uh Crag the Dread King uh -oh. from yeah, Fungal Grotto. Uh -oh. um, as you oh, okay. progress Bye. through this and as you fight these bosses more and more, you're going to see uh, they're going to they're gain in this, is, this is arc one, so it's, it's usually the, oh, okay. the, the Ooh, first loot moment. This. this is the first big loot moment. Um, there's your archival fortunes. He has ESO plus, so he gets uh, an extra tw an extra ten percent. And this is where you didn't your first. Take the MT soul gem? I don't <laughs> you didn't want that. One? This is the oh. first chance for you to get a vision. So these are the long Ooh. duration. That's a good one. That is a good one. These are the long me, duration ones that will last for the entirety of your run. And if you oh, see oh, that's that, kills freaking boss, sick. And pain again, it'll stack again. So it'll it, those those ones will or you can you can stack them to get more effect. And there's all kinds of really unique, cool animations that for the sure. UI team put together. Absolutely. I don't know if people saw that, but like 
when you accept a vision or a verse, you see it kind of, it kind of bouncing floats the, up to the, in the top. UI and I mean, this whole thing right here with the, the rotating uh, stage cycle uh, arc. Yeah, so you can tell, like, a lot of care and effort was put in by the team on this. Like, this is something that I think really got the team jazzed. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, to be able to do. It's something different. It's not something we normally do. And it was it was just a ton and it was of a lot of learn. fun to be able to, to kind learn, of right? rehighlight. Yeah, there's a lot of learning. Uh, <laughs> it's, it was fun to be able to rehighlight some of the cool stuff that we've had, that we've done in game before. Right. That that maybe players like I so said. This, this, is, this is actually pretty awesome, awesome because, because it makes it to where um, I mean I'm, I'm sure the gold is not like as good, but it can give somebody that does not like uh, a lot of carry. Look, this is the bulwark from um. Uh, uh, coral area, every, I think? So there's tiers to the bosses that you'll fight. Um, so there's, you, there's uh, like, based on which things that you have seen, seen before in dungeons. Like, the, the crag was the crag king. Actually in every arc. So here's another there's verse, fire orbs. You get the fire orb, that and then magic or renewal, too. So you get, like, you kind of get... This is only for this, like, from here to the next round. And then once you get another verse. But, but the, the visions vision stay with, with you. you. you and, and who, I'm just showing mouse and keyboard UI because that's yeah. what I'm playing on. But this works 100% with gamepad for sure. as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the team took, went to great care. Same thing with like the group finder tool that we did. I only showed, you know, the the PC UI. Yeah, he's, right. he's, he's fire orb, orb. Yeah, so, so he can use, use the fire orb. orb. As well. So while you all are going through, I just want to answer a couple common questions that keep popping up in chat. Yep. Okay. So um, there is no difficulty. There's no normal or vet. It's Correct. just you can do solo or you can do duo. Yeah. Right. And the difficulty comes from how deep How you far you get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's actually, it gets harder. It's, yep. it's not. It gets a lot harder. To, to clarify <laughs> a little bit there, there is no difference between solo or or duo difficulty. Right. Yes. So if Rich was in here solo, the monsters had the same amount of health and the same amount of damage. Yep. So you really have to build your character a specific way in order to kind of tackle solo. You have a little bit more flexibility with duo. But for those people with one friend, this is the perfect like, piece of content. Wow. Did you like Why did you look at <laughs> Gina when you said that? We looked at each other. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, when, when you're done, if you could bring up F5 again. Sure. Um, okay. For for another question I see popping up, yep. um, if you are in here with a friend, mm -hmm. my assumption is you and your friend cannot summon companions. Correct. 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 Yes. This is two. It's capped at two players. So if you're in, as a matter of fact, a if companion you are, is considered. A if player. you are, if you have a companion out, and then your friend who is also in your group comes in here, your companion will be summoned. Right. So uh, yeah, it works just like. All right. F five. All right. So the verses and the visions. Yep. Yeah. The verses are only by stage, correct? Yes. Correct. And, and so, then, as you can see here, he does not have a verse because they just completed a stage. But I right. will when I click but this. But he will, he will when he clicks this. And the visions persist throughout, throughout your entire, the entirety run. of hey, the run. it's Finn. So, the <laughs> tomfoolery. <laughs> tomfoolery. 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 So, now I have a verse and a and vision. And a vision, yes. Just to answer another question in chat, this is free with update 40. It's Absolutely. free for all players. It Base is not tied update. to any chapters or DLCs, so oh anybody can play it. I won't light attack him this time, please. <laughs> oh, this is this so is the guy from um, Mazu Tune. In the game, and this is a uh, very specific one. Isn't, Isn't it? it? So again, to, to, one thing I do want to clarify is, it, Rich and Lauren are on an internal server, but they are not playing with dev commands. We're not cheating. They are not cheating. Uh, not this this is, they are playing through natural, because we want to give you guys an experience of what this can, can actually look like. So if you say that... Uh, so, so this, this is the chest, chest here. Um, easy. Uh, it's because... So they, they get, get the archival fortunes, you look at the layers of that they're building, and then they you get a vision. vision. So when they do get to so the you get uh, more difficult portions of it, they have stacks of visions that are going to help them out according to how they build it. That is just in case. Little defense. Are you yeah. able to choose verses and visions for your companions? No. Uh, that's another. Uh, companions do not get verses and visions, so uh, they will need to Wait. just be good. Oh, I held that one so it's better, it's better to, like, just, just if you're going to go with a companion, might as well hold the fun. glad it was yeah. Steve. I was like, yeah. um, We literally just talked about that. Should they get verses and visions? People would be watering eyes. Uh, yeah, that would be Oh, you're talking about holding it. <laughs> so we got some Dramothra in here. Uh, so if you remember those from uh, various pieces of content, but in particular, uh, Mob Lorcage. 
uh, as eventually they're going to come across or what is it? Cycle Young 3? Um, yeah. It says in the it UI. Says. I know, that's why I, that's that's why why I looked, looked at over it. There. That's why I looked at it. <laughs> Uh, eventually you're going to come across some, some bigger, stronger monsters that are going to appear. Those are fables, or fabled. They're they jerks. are really... They're, they're jerks. They're, uh, <laughs> they're, they mimic a lot of the bannermen that we've done in Trials before, and they pop up, and they're, so they're outside of kind of the monster sets that you'll see. So every once in a while you'll see a fabled flame shaper or a fabled sun eater or something like that, and they'll pop up, and they're like, oh, they, they should be a kind of a priority target you should, you should focus on. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. so oh. this is this is something new. This is a portal to the unknown. So as you that sounds safe. Yeah, as you traverse <laughs> through oh, here. Oh. <laughs> well, let, let him explain what it is first. Hold as on. you traverse through here, uh, you will get these portals to the unknown. These are you. these are what we affectionately call side content. Flip. And what you what and it's varied which one is you, which one you're gonna get. Sometimes you get turned into a goat and you have to eat sweet rolls and get away from people. Well, sometimes <laughs> sometimes you get turned into a watcher and you have to find tome shells and each one of these will give you a verse for the next stage so the next stage you will be starting with two, two. verses as opposed to one verse so they have that advantage not only that they're where all, i get carried they're Let's all part of they're also <laughs> part of that. a uh this is the this is the wisp oh, hurting yeah, yeah. where well, you got it yeah. there's two of them aren't there I only saw one. No, this is so. It, these escalate in difficulty. The more you see uh, these, the harder that they are going to get. And there yeah, are certain achievements. It. So this was the easy one because they've this I mean, is the first time really they've yeah, we did the easy one. They've <laughs> only they've the only seen one. this the first one. Okay. Um, as you progress and you do this Ooh. more and more, Ooh. more, and more, and more there's fragment decks. Okay, no, uh, there's fragment decks. Yeah. You get another loot moment. And this oh. Is the second. Oh, so new deck. Every goes into with the Lit. in the next uh, arena. He'll have two verses. Trivia player. <laughs> so um, I've seen a number of players asking: Is there a minimum level you have to be no. to do this content? Nope. nope. Or a suggested level or CP? Or can anybody go nope. in? Nope. Anybody can go, go in, in here. And, and the goal was that arc one is kind of the the when you come in here and you talk to Master Malkus. He'll explain the stakes and give you the the lowdown on what's going on in here. And really, the goal is for you to complete Arc One. Once you're done with Arc One, you can go and turn in your quest, and you can leave if you really want to. Oh, or yeah, I see gold piles on the ground. yeah, I see that too. <laughs> or you can keep going. But the the idea is the target the quest Ooh. the main quest will target you completing Arc One, and then that quest turns into a daily. So every day you come in here, you can kind of complete Arc One. And continue the, oh, the oh. It's a little bit more accessible. Yeah, right? It's yes. not. It's not. I wouldn't say it's story mode. No. But it is definitely kind of balanced somewhere between kind of like normal and vet. Yeah. I guess. Yep. Uh, Depending. I mean, some of the bosses in, in some Arc of them are hard. Yeah. Some of the bosses in Arc One. The tier, the tier three and four ones. Yeah, the yeah. tier three and four ones. I think you guys had. Uh, who did you have earlier? Molimnir. Yeah. Yeah, Molimnir was uh, was pretty tough. So. Uh, this is a. Oh, oh that's, that's cool. cool. Uh, uh, stage two. So one. Oh, one, one more. more. Okay. Yeah, one more. That's why we have that little yeah, yeah. Very notification helpful. underneath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you now don't have once, to remember it anymore. Once you leave, yeah. that's it, right? It ends your run? Or is there a way to kind of so like save it, your progress? In the, mm -hmm. You cannot save your progress um, because uh, of the nature of how everything is going to be uh, different, how you're going to build your character and your run in right. here. So there is no saving progress or jumping ahead or skipping ahead or anything like that. You're going to start fresh every single time you come in here. Um, so... Uh, and when you leave, you have a, a certain amount of time to come back in before the, the kind of instance spins down. But when, when Rich returns to the index later, I'll show you some, some cool things that... Yeah, we'll show the vendors and we, some of the other and, stuff. And some cool things that we implemented to, to allow players to, to manipulate that a little bit. Now it's the boss. Now it's the yeah. boss. Yes. Break free doesn't help me much. Well, you don't know. It might. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. Help you. It might help depends on what the boss is. Yeah. Depends on what the boss is. So this is the thing: is you don't know which boss is going to show up. Here we go. Up. I got a good one for a boss. Oh, did uh -oh. you? Oh man. Uh, we, I just saw this question pop up. We are going to be adding a new deck to Tales of oh, Tribute. No. It's the uh, Hermes Mora painting. Yes. Oh, oh is this, this the guy from Solaris? Briartheric, from the Red Petal Bash. The, the Red, Red Petal, Petal yeah. 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 Um, and this is where you're going to see a highlight of kind of. It's the mechanics that you may be familiar with if you've run if you've run this dungeon, but it's a little bit different. <laughs> Tuned for one to Tuned two. Tuned for one yeah. to two players for sure. They're going ham on him right now. Oh, there's the spinning blades. Yeah, but you don't, don't have the, the, the dudes, dudes that, that come out. out. Yeah. Don't get kicked into the spinning blades. <laughs> no. 
So they're going ham kind of on this. Oh, oh there's the. Uh, yeah. Oh, Theric is down. So cycle three is complete. This, this is actually, actually pretty cool. cool. It's a good way. And then, uh, and then they get to fight Thoat. Ooh, boy. Make them bleed. Let's go and bleed attacks. So far away, I can't read. <laughs> direct damage increases. Uh, direct damage increases by the enemy. Yeah. Make it hard, but you feel better already. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll go with that So, yeah, Lauren, yeah, there you go. Lauren gets um, a different choice of Absolutely. versus envisions than, yeah, for sure. than Rich. Yeah. And, and, her, and her monitor is way over there, so <laughs> yeah. we're trying to help her if I'm and, squinting. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it helps if, uh, you know, because like, like I said, if you come in here with a healer oh, or a, a tank. Uh, there's oh, a fable, there's oh, a fabled sun eater. Our favorite sun eaters. There's mm -hmm. the fabled sun eater. Uh, they look, um, they're not, like I said, arc one. They're not quite as difficult as you might see them when you see them later they're on. But they definitely, Yeah, they definitely become a priority target later on. Uh, so, like I was saying, like there's a tank move. Everybody gives yeah, pull the pull the embassy out of your, out of your AOEs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, that pull was just a heavy attack. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, uh, oh, oh. Ooh. Um, if a tank uh, you know has enough defense and they want to build for offense, then those that's going to inform the kind of their vision choices. Mm -hmm. Whereas a DPS, especially when you get higher up into the uh, into the later arcs, those you, fables get really scary. And you're going to want to you're going to want to choose the right verse and visions in order to add survivability. Yep. You know, I saw somebody mention um, Rebirth. Rebirth. And something I don't think. Oh, you, you instead of become immune to that. Ooh. It doesn't cap. Life. It right. does not cap. You're right. Ooh. The new currency is not capped. Uncar hey, look, uh, there's, uh, there's a merchant here. There he is. <laughs> so cute. He is. Those are the filers. Those are, those are get some things. Ways. Here's some of Here's the a... scrolls that you can get. This, this isn't bonuses. the main vendor. No, no this, this isn't is the main vendor, but this guy appears at the end of every uh, stage. Just before the final. Well, so right. he can give you a verse for a hundred at par full for that currency. A couple. It it has a couple of uh, things available for purchase from with archival fortunes. Um, so those mystery verses, those are random, and you can just use them when you're in a stage, okay. and it automatically adds another. Oh yeah, verse extra life because yeah. yeah, I might need that. <laughs> oh, that's a good question. As far as the, um, the lives, mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you call them? Threads of fate. Threads of fate. Do they share the three, or do they so have three? That's, no, that's, a, good, call. that's yeah. a really good question. So the way it works is, it, typically in the original trial implementation, it was when somebody died, you lost a life, and then once all of your lives were gone, nobody could resurrect. In this, when you're duo, you do not lose a thread of fate until both players, or player and companion, have died. Oh! So you lose a thread. But if you're duo, it gives you a chance to recover. It gives you a chance for your friend to come, or your person you're playing with, to come and... If it's not your friend. <laughs> <laughs> your rented uh, friend? Yeah, your rented friend. So you only uh, have, like, like X amount of threads. Uh, for them to, to recover and resurrect you. Let well, me yeah, ask to see if they... Rented the areas. Area effects. Mm, tough choice. Tough choice. Yeah. It is just... Uh, it is just stage three. Though. Sorry, I'm gonna... Have, uh, it's okay. Yeah. Claim... That would have been really good for a boss for sure. So as you can see, you as you're kind of going through here, you're making these choices every single stage to try and get as far uh, as you can. That, well, was that, flame fabled, shaper went down. that was a fabled flame shaper. <laughs> it is surprising sometimes you get a verse that's like super powerful <laughs> like, and then oh things just gosh. melt. Uh, again, early arcs are gonna you're gonna see that a lot more than yeah. you see it in later arcs. And just to reiterate, each stage is randomized. So yeah. correct. Like. All these monsters, they, they could show up anywhere, anytime. At, you Even, know, it's not a set. Right. Even well, the actual stage itself. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not the same order through it every right. time. Correct. Correct. And the monsters are, are, are kind really of curated cool into sets. So uh, it, generally, if you fight the Silver uh, silver Rose or the, um, from Red Petal Bastion, you're going to see a group of the Silver Rose monsters. And then you'll see another set added into. So it could be goblins. Or one time, or it could be tree spirits another time, or something. So you'll see kind of the same uh, sets of monsters as you as you go through. But this the is fables, the sexy boss one. The, the wounds <laughs> you click do not close. I got a good one for the boss. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and yes, you do get XP in here. You I do. saw that Absolutely. called out. You do get XP in here. One ancient grain is worth one plating. Yes. Yes. And one ancient plating is worth ten. Oh, you got... Oh, oh okay. okay. Enjoy the bleeds. 
I saw that, um, go ahead. You know, somebody talking about how you know they're just kind of going through these enemies pretty quickly. Yes, I mean, they they're are. still really early on, and they're both like max CP right now. Yeah, they're they're, they they're good. Obviously, like, know what they're doing. The game, so, we fully yeah. expect so. So part of this is, and what we were trying to do with this is provide an experience for not just the high end players, not just uh, story players. It is it is an experience that's going to continuously get more and more difficult. So yes, it's why you can kind of blow through the the, the first uh, sections, the first arcs, and stuff like that. For experienced players, uh, yeah. For experienced players, eventually it's going to get tough, and that's where the leaderboards are going to come in. That's where you're you're going to get as you progress through this, you get more archival fortune. So it's worth it to kind of delve deeper into this. Mm -hmm. Effortless acrobatics. Ooh. Max health. Full coffers. I'm going to go straight up defense. There you go, defense. So and, and I know you called this out. There's offensive, defensive, and utility. utility. But we also call that out on the tooltips as well, right? Like, so this is a vision you can see in the top left corner. It's defensive. And you can only get the option There's for the utility one there. category per thing. So you get the option of two visions, uh, or two, yeah, two visions. Those are going to be one from offense, defense, and utility, and the other one from whatever wasn't chosen. Yep. So this is heading into the, the final arc where they're going to end on the Thoat Replicanum. Uh, there's a fable there. Ooh. Fabled Sun Eater that did not last long. And again, this will be on our test server on, on Monday, Monday for everyone to try. So We're going to be keeping an eye on a lot of feedback and some balance yeah, and all of sure. that, so we can certainly sure. make some tweaks. Absolutely. If, you know, Final those balance. Just don't see. <laughs> yeah, and that's uh, that's good. We want people to come in here and play it, give that feedback on what they think and, and how their overall experience is and stuff like that. Um, you can actually. Like I said, uh, there's no varying difficulty between normal and duo. So if you want to really challenge there's yourself, come in here solo and, and build a character for that. Or if you want to bring a friend in here and see as far as you can go and just lay waste to the early arcs and then uh, layer on those visions so it really helps you. So some internal play tests, right? Yeah. You know, we've done, I know Lauren has been to arc seven. More than <laughs> Should be yeah. further than arc seven. Actually. Deeper than that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and trust me, it Gets it's it's brutal. it's meaty. It, yes. gets, brutal. it, gets, it's it gets pretty <laughs> brutal. Uh, even as a tank, arc. it's yeah, yeah. Even tough. As a tank. Yep. So there's a favorite uh, spirit thief. Again, the spirit the fables are, are curated from from a lot of different bannermen um, that you would see in the world, and they are not tied to the monster sets. I talk about monster sets that you would appear, even if you see undead and forest spirits, that doesn't correlate to, to whatever uh, <laughs> fable that you'll see. Uh oh, Jimmy's looking at chat. <laughs> Spicy can reference the pain train. Uh. Choo choo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's from years and Maybe years ago. Maybe the pain train. <laughs> so again, so stage more, two? more cool, unique yeah, world building. Like, sometimes you gotta look up. Yes. It's the bane of our existence. People don't look up. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Nobody looks up. Uh, yeah, look up, Gina. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. That was uh, so good. Oh. Uh, I saw somebody asking about class sets. We are going to visit the vendor in a little bit. We can show, well, we're, we're show, some show you some tips and stuff. So yeah, when you, we'll, we'll, we'll when you complete stuff. an arc, so when you defeat Thoat Replicanum, you're guaranteed. you're guaranteed to get a class set drop and each time you do it. So uh, every fifth cycle, Thoat Replicanum is the boss. So yeah. as you progress through, you can you know that every arc ends with Thoat Replicanum. Yep. And there so may be other you ways you can get them as drops as time. well. Yep. Which we may or may not talk about. We'll see. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. We're probably <laughs> definitely going to see it. <laughs> probably. <laughs> and then, yes, there's always the vendors as well. Here we got some Silver Rose in here. And Four Spirits. Good. What are you guys on? Stage three. All right, so you yeah, got Thoat coming there. next. Yep. Come on, RNG. Give me something good. All right, throw out. What do we got? Guild superiority, so okay. your guild, guild abilities do yep, more. That helps. Um, or if I take better it. defending from anyone foolish enough to hit you. I'm going to take this one. All right. It's all, I hope you have your AOE oh, ready. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh side portal. Do it. Do it. Do it. side portal. That's nice. Lucky. Those are okay. Or not. So uh, this is the lost librarian. So <laughs> what this guy does is he tasks you with finding pages as you're progressing through 
endless archive. So you're going to get a quest from him. You don't have to get the quest now. I'm you not going to get it. We don't want to spoilers. spoil kind yep. of the story here. But this guy is just trapped in the endless archive, and he'll give you a quest to pick up pages to kind of that complete sucks. his. Yeah, to kind of complete <laughs> his thing. And what's great about this Saigon is like. From now on, as you're in Endless Archive, you'll see these pages uh, all yep. over the place, and you you want to go and pick them up. That's, That's cool. cool. So, so there's, there's like, like quests within, within, within so here's like the archive. archive. So this is the this is the one very unique uh, arena that uh, a lot of players uh, or that we haven't seen yet. Mm -hmm. Thawat's going to appear here. Master Malkus is going to uh, drop this right here. Taunt her. Here she comes. Hey guys! Hey! What's going on? So she's a new monster unique to this experience. Uh, she uses fragmentations of herself when she's fighting, so you're going to see her break off different pieces of herself, and they're going to do different things. Uh, I should probably heal myself. You should probably heal yourself. Uh, she drops a lot of AoEs, as you can tell. She's going to summon a sword here in a minute. Master Melkas is works. trying to kick in. Uh -oh. Look at that. He's. he's uh oh. Uh oh. There oh, there it is. Ooh. Lag. Internal <laughs> yeah. server. Internal server. Internal server. Internal server. Internal server. Right. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> so she has uh, her sword out now, so she's uh, trying to lay waste to, to Lauren. She has this really cool uh, teleport mechanic um, that, with that heavy attack. Master Malkus is trying to fist a cuffs in, in, in there to, to lend his help. She's got some health. She does have some beefy health. She's going to do this. There's gonna the sword. giant eyeball. And this, this puts a uh, explosion on the ground that will follow uh, one of the one of the people in here. So you need to be careful of that because it does a whole lot of damage. She's also going to have these little uh, like glass prisms that are going to that are going to appear on the ground that you're going to want to take out. And the the good thing about Thoat is every time you fight her in progressive arcs. So in arc one, this is kind of the experience you're going to get. She's going to do all these things. And as you get to arc two, she changes up a little bit. She has more monsters she summons. Her arena gets a little bit different. And it, and it keeps progressing that way the, the more you fight her. I think up to about arc four or five, uh, she, she got progressively gets uh, adds layers to what she can uh, do. I got a friend. There we go. The lot is down. So this is the first arc one complete. And this is the first chance you have to loot an actual class item. All right, drum roll. Drum roll. I'm expecting. Look, I got. You got rats boots. on wow. shoes. Fancy that. I wonder how Fancy. that happened. Ah, so these drops are curated. They are curated to the class. To the class, which helps. So Rich is a Templar, so he got yep. the rats on shoes. This is part of the Templar class skill set. And one of the design aspects for class sets is to focus on an individual skill line in the class. Right. And really kind of change up gameplay. So in this, I'm sure you've seen the, the, the tooltip here, but whenever I use a Dawn's Wrath ability, it puts a stack on a, on a creature. Once I hit 50 stacks, then I drop a Nova on them. And it is amazing. It's it so is. awesome it dropping drop Novas all over the place. Novas dropping all over uh, the place. It's so good. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's God, really I cannot wait, wait until I see the freaking Arcanus one. one if this at is the launch thing. of the system activity, whatever we want to yeah. call it, at the launch of Endless Archive, uh, there is one unique class set for every class. Right. Oh seven my! Sets. Now, the math there, right? That's seven sets. Right. We still have a but lot more sets to do. There are twenty-one class skill lines. There are. Rich. So um, <laughs> you can do the math there. We plan on adding more of these in the future as well. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, this is this is really cool. It adds a ton. It changes up things. Um, I they can, are curated. Yeah. They, they are, are they curated. are curated to the class. So they'll drop as you know as part of the class once you get them all. Then it goes random. Um, you can come in here in other classes and, and get those, or I should probably go back to the vendor and show. Well, yeah, we, we'll yes. do that after, after you get to the next arena. Use the little uh, yeah, we'll go the back. little portal back. Mm. I good. would do fortification. Oh, what are you saying? Nah, more damage. Yeah, yeah. More <laughs> damage. <laughs> I've got Lauren. Lauren. Uh, Lauren's, I got Lauren's Lauren. Gonna I got Lauren. <laughs> so uh, you can always go back to the at, index at yeah. any time. That's what these little. That's what that little thing is at are. the start of an uh, at. At the start of each stage, there's uh, this little thing. It mimics what you use, actually, in order uh -huh. to enter. And this is the index. And you can come back here at any time. Like I said, this is not timed. So if you need to come back here and do whatever, you can come back here and hang out. There's a merchant up here. This is where we get to see the cool new merchant. Some of the cool uh, stuff. Filer Tizzers. And there's a giant list here. Obviously, we've still got some icons. Oh, oh there's, there's furnishings. furnishings. A set of filters up for sure. in the top. 
that you can go through. So some of the collectibles. So this is this is really good. You have uh, some deck fragments here that you can use archival fortunes for. There's also these things that are called account unlocks. Now these are part of the uh, roguelike inspired permanent progression. As you complete uh, the achievements related to the side content, you get the option to buy these. And some of these are really really powerful. This is freaking awesome. So for instance, like, sweeter deal. This gives goodness. you the option to see a third verse choice in every single yeah. run. So instead of just getting two choices, you now will have a choice of offense, defense, and utility every single time yep. you see it. So those are definitely on. worth wanting to unlock. There's a whole bunch of unique furnishings in here yep. that you can get. And then there's a bunch of miscellaneous things uh, you can get, like Telvars. You can, um, materials. Vendors, you can get materials. Yeah. Um, there's some uh, gold that you can get out of this. There are curated sets. And then uncurated sets in here. So you can kind of, you know, early on a strategy might be I go in and I, I don't buy have a, a few lot of, of right, I don't have a lot of them unlocked. Right, yeah, so I'm not going to get um, dupes. Probably. So this is the, the Arcanist one. I figured I'd, you know, drop that one in there. <laughs> um, there's some cool stuff with it. Um, this is one of my favorite ones, is the Nightblade one. Nightblade one is really good. Which yes. essentially what it does is your abilities use uh, some ultimate. Yep. Uh, up to empower them to make them do more damage yes. and whatnot in that skill line. So lots of really cool stuff in here. Um, yes, I noticed people are looking at my gold that I have. <laughs> I used the template. <laughs> I cheated. <laughs> I cheated to set it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but that's that's the vendor. And, and um, Isn't there also a uh, yeah, okay. yes. yes, there is. It's cheap. I mean, I, I know there base. is because yeah, I wrote base. it in the yeah, patch notes, yeah, yeah, yeah. but there's I just couldn't remember where. There's an achievement where. base. Okay. Achievement base. So, so you got to do a bunch of stuff. What, wait, don't go in there yet. Uh, so if you turn around, let's say if you want to, this little doohickey right here, let's say you've been in here for a couple hours, you got pretty deep, but you just ran out of time, and you want to end your run. You can actually interact with this as Runic Threadweaver, and it will drop your threads to zero. You can't ever go in here. You, you can't go further. But it also will basically end your run for a leaderboard score. Yeah, Prince and leaderboard then score. you can you can still stay in here. Yep. And you can uh, visit the vendors and stuff. And then this little awesome uh, hourglass here, this is a reset hourglass. And what this does is if you interact with this, it will uh, – basically shut the instance down. It resets down. the instance. It, it shuts the instance down like dungeons do. Everybody gets the little timer that they need to exit and leave, and then it'll reset it so you can just jump right back in. So no more getting out and, like, swapping group leaders and all kinds of yeah. crazy Ooh. stuff. I haven't been here a long time. Yeah. All right, so arc two. You're going to get to see two. some of the difficulties. So you're going to get to see yet. some. Uh-oh. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> I started it louder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Oh, no. So this is arc two, uh, cycle one of arc two. There's a fabled There's sun eater right there. Oh, boy. Uh, Rich is already getting punched in the face with giant rock fists. <laughs> Stood in the stupid. And, uh, see, yes, don't stand in the stupid. <laughs> so uh, there's some other wrinkles here. Not only that, so we, we mentioned that stages and cycle will increase the difficulty, so things will get a little more difficult as you progress. But also arcs are a bigger jump. That's so you're a, gonna yeah, see, big jump. You're going to see a lot of uh, uh, the mobs Boy. are going to have a lot more health. Um, the fa actually the really fables hurt. are a little bit more um, intense, and there's actually some new wrinkles there. When they see it, I will call it out. <laughs> oh, you'll hear it. Uh, yeah, you'll hear it. We'll be like, uh, oh, I think shit. we did this in pre. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren was like, oh no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not getting beat down. Yeah, I'm there ready. You, there you go. You got it. Actually, no, I'll get beat down. All right, yeah. What's the, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> you know, I saw somebody asking earlier. Um, are the bosses and the monsters that you're going to see in here tied to the content that you have access to, or could it nope. be anywhere? They're be pulled anywhere. from everywhere. So even if you, yeah, that's a good question, because even if you haven't seen some of these bosses, like if you haven't Ooh. done, you know, if you One don't have DLC access to, or to elsewhere or something oh, like that, a or DLC Dungeon, yeah, there's Sun Eater. Um, if, if you don't have access to those, if you haven't seen those before, they're still going to pop up, and you're still going to have to kind of learn how to deal with them. That's what's well. Yes. This, this is actually, actually pretty, pretty cool, cool so far. So far. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm actually liking this quite, quite a bit. bit. Running rough shot over. Actually, Lauren's uh, doing pretty good. Rich, not so much. Lauren's doing great. <laughs> As expected. As yeah, expected. I was going to say, that's pretty As expected. expected. <laughs> I just charged The hard carry. Long. So this is cycle, uh, or this is stage two. So we're, we're uh, oh, that's a, no, you don't want to hit him. That's not good. You don't want to hit him. He reflects. 
backseat player. I know, <laughs> right? I'm like, hey. Spoilers. Mm -hmm. Spoiler alert. Yeah. That was not player test. Actually, it was player test. <laughs> yeah, it was player test. <laughs> There's Ascended Vanguard. All right. Stage two, two. is complete. Where is it? I, have, I have faith that you're going to get. Down here. We're going to get some difficulty. You're going to get, some, uh, you're gonna get a little bit more. Like I said, <laughs> the arcs naturally progress. So so really experienced players, players that are used to doing stuff like trials. Oh, hey, look at that. Damage like over time heals me. That seems like a good uh, thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think they're going to have a bit easier time in the early arcs, but again, you're building that run. You're building that. You can already that. feel the difference. Yeah, like, yeah, monsters are lasting way longer now than they were. This is yeah. one of the first arenas we actually built. Stuff uh, hurts a lot more. Yeah, this is a, a potentially painful arena. That was our <laughs> yeah, you saw the pop-up, right and you were like, wait. No, all right, never mind. There's a spirit thief. Uh, they like to put those little time bombs out. Spawn behind me. <laughs> Where is L2 tank. Yeah. Just kidding. You're doing great. I was going to say, <laughs> wait great. a minute. <laughs> you're doing great. So you're going to fight your first boss on arc, or, uh, yeah, arc two uh, coming up. So right. for, um, for anybody who maybe tuned in a little bit late, we're showing off Endless Archive. It's a new PvE activity coming in update 40. This is content that is going to be for free for all players. It's not tied to a chapter or a DLC. You can go solo or you can go duo with either a friend or a companion. Oh, See how I pointed get? at you there when you I go, said yeah, friend? Oh, it's, it's the freaking crab. crab! The giant coral crab. Yeah. Win our patch notes. Monday. Monday. Uh, Monday so this is, is coming best. to PTS Monday on Monday. Monday is fun day. Match Monday is fun day. Yep. Gotta so like I, first, said, there, there's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like I said, there's there's uh I'm Like I said, there's a there's a lot of uh, uh, stuff that that players may have seen before, and as you as your hey, there's a gold pile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was your that was your verse. <laughs> That's awesome. So uh, yeah, kind of as you go through, you're gonna see here now the the within each arc, each cycle is kind of again it's curated. So you're not you're gonna there's only a selection of bosses that would appear in cycle one two, three, or four, with three and four being the harder of those. But again, once you get up higher in arcs, all the cycles are going to be pretty difficult. It's just a matter of the layering on the mechanics. Yeah. You can also see that he's getting more archival fortunes because he's in arc two now. Yep. So he got 330 as opposed, gets better, to, yep. as opposed to 200. Uh, we got this. Let's do it. How many verses? I can feel it building. How you I'm feel nervous. It? I can totally I'm feel nervous. it building. <laughs> <I'm nervous. laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> Uh, this is where you got it when we were doing yeah. it. I think we got it the first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we got it, we got it on stage one. It was the very first yeah. one. It was stage yeah. one. But yeah. I meant this specific. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where you had it. Hello? Okay. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yes. Yes. Nope. Monday. <laughs> Monday, in just a few days. September 18th. A few days, and then it's launching Mom, you shouldn't um, be putting October that one. 30th for PC and Mac, ah. and then yep. November 14th for consoles. Yeah, so there's a very specific uh, thing we're looking for. Like I said, <laughs> we, we have... Oh, I know, oh you're right? not. So okay, we okay. have... Uh, no, to reinforce the point that they're playing no, 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 no. they're playing with okay. all of the, uh, the elements that are here with the randomness. Okay. Like so in order to give you guys okay. a, a good experience, okay. here, uh, three, nine, nine, we're running the stage two. Like yeah, yeah. Alright. Or should oh, I have no. another one? <laughs> I don't think you'll need another life. It's the worst that could happen. I don't think you're going to need another life. Fine. You got the pestilence, so this is, you get a little skeever. I got Lauren. Yeah, you get a little skeever. We got a tome shell, too. You got a tome nice. shell okay. and a skeever helping good. out here. Right. That's good. probably good. Here we go. Okay. Oh, está bien. There's Fable up there. ¿Quieres también? Yeah. Ah, bueno. Right. Me llamo Does that Lolita. work when you yell that? Dice que era que hay helado. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Not the face. No, <laughs> that's probably not right. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, again, curated monsters here. You're fighting Durzogs and Sun Eaters and all kinds of stuff. These little tome shells uh, will help you out, provide you uh, a buff for this arena. We're in what? I should probably go stage up. three. Yep. And you probably want. I the, dropped on uh, my AOE. You are actually one. are going to get uh, as you progress through. You saw them, the the fables early on in uh, the first arc. But as you progress through the arcs, you're going to get more of them uh, further on. So stage two is complete. Ooh, so we're heading to stage one. three. Uh, magical multitudes. Your area effects create diverging energy. 
a bountiful stuff. resource. There you go. I got a funk. Oh, looks like you did. So somebody is oh. asking a question with the new group finder tool yeah. that we talked about earlier. Can they use that for battlegrounds too? And you can use it for custom activities as well. Yeah. yeah. So pretty much anything you can think of, yeah. you can make a group. For. And, and that's we we actually were that was that was thought about when we when we kind of developed it was yeah. wanting the ability to to have custom activities because. It's, any time we would introduce anything new or something like that, you, I mean, heck, you can you can role play. You can yeah, set you up can a make a role play. Yeah. Role play. Yep. Yeah. Wait, Wait, what? what? Housing with, tours, if you wanted to, the, right? The, like, the, the group hey, we're gonna go on a whole bunch of housing tours. Join the group and just <gasps> jump to us, right? Like, <gasps> you, you tried. <laughs> she tried. <laughs> she tried. <laughs> I, I missed on the oh, big no. guy. Good reflexes. Good coverage. Stage three is complete. So we're heading into another boss stage. Oh. Now, like <laughs> Finn mentioned, we're looking for something very specific here that, that yes. spawns, He's being very coy. Oh, spawns not oh, randomly. Should I? Let's, yeah, let's click it. All right, all right we'll do a portal. We'll see what's, we'll see what's in here. Oh, it's, this oh. is the duelist. Oh, this is, good this is another piece of uh, yeah. uh, content. So this person is in here as well in the ar uh, Endless Archive, and she's just here to challenge people. Put them, put them through their paces. Just to, uh, she uses arc, uh, arcanist abilities, teleporting all around, uh, putting AOEs on people. Uh, so that, that is cool. Can, so you can like use said, the group finder. Kind of you set, set the perimeters, and, and you can. can wow, wow. Level that is, is like, mind blowing. They, they needed, needed something, something like this in the game. game. Oh, oh man. man. Did. And, and apparently the, the, uh, they're, they're getting, getting rid, rid of the uh, grains from um, the plating thing. thing. This, this is going to be plate. plate. <laughs> Gina can't help it. No, She's dying. It's going down. The, yeah, no, it's fine. It's, fine. it's, it's hot great. in here. It's, it is hot. It's so <laughs> hot. I'm glad you said it. It's so, so warm, hot in here. So there we go. It's not because we're right, talking so about the, the uh, <laughs> They were able to defeat. He went there. So this gives you another unit. Chest. Another loop moment. A little bit, little Ooh, bit of uh, you get another deck fragment. Um, you get another verse. So this is what we talked about. Is you get the second verse. So they're heading into oh, a boss. Yes. Uh, and getting More a AOE. second verse, heading into a boss is is, is awesome. Pretty awesome. All right. And oh, and of course, and, it's and oh, 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 this is uh, the one from the base uh, from Markarth. Right. Oh, okay. okay. But but still, still, the is not quite as, as scary as if it was. It's okay. We got lots of AOE fun. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, you did. Oh, like, wow. Melt and hurt. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I, had I didn't even get to base. use this. Oh, I had some <laughs> it, it's, so if you look at it, it's, a four, it's four verses in that. That's a, yeah. that's a, lot, of, uh, a lot of meat on I the bone buffs. there. I had buffs. Yeah. You didn't want the Rubido? No. Do you have your full Rubido set? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh-huh. More stam regen. Stam regen. All right. This, this is lit. lit. Had to uh, make a choice. Wow. <laughs> Spicy. <laughs> uh, that, wow. That's got you scared. <laughs> and they, and they have said, said it's that, that, that um, it's ramping up. It's, it's ramping uh, up in difficulty. They, they have said, said that they're going to put new sets, sets over, over time. time. So it's, so it's going to be like PvP, PvP where, where you can, you can, can uh, uh, yeah. Get them out right of the right box, on the <clears throat> So I'll go ahead and talk about it so everybody's not wondering what the <laughs> So, uh, so it, 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 starting in arc two, as you progress through here, uh, through the stages, not, not the cycles and not the arc, you get a random chance that a marauder will spawn. And a marauder is a super beefy, special, unique monster. It's completely new loot moment, too. So if you're able to defeat it, you get another uh, flash set item. But the but, special things but. about Marauders, the special things about Marauders are Don't they are a one terrifying. and done. They're, <laughs> they are they're, terrifying. First of all, they're, they're really scary. <laughs> but not only that, they're a one and done. If you do, fail to defeat the Marauder, then <laughs> they go away. And you don't and they, you they don't will appear a, you again. You don't get a second chance. They, will, they, will, they don't get a second chance. You don't get to respawn and fight it again. Uh, I would say the Marauder is the scariest monster I've ever <laughs> encountered in the game. It is just a lot coming from you. <laughs> <laughs> 
and it's and and especially it's in the in the, the stages. deeper arcs. Yeah, and like, in the deeper arcs, they get oof. better. And you're fighting stages with fabled monsters, and then all of a sudden a marauder shows up. And you're like, oh no! I now I have to deal with this. The thing marauder and, and the rest and, of the, and the stuff. The marauder and the rest of the stuff. So. That's again another opportunity for us to kind of like augment gameplay. You don't know when you're going to get it. Like you said, last time we we did this, we were, we were uh, they were running through this to kind of get their their feet under them. They caught it in the first the cycle first stage, of our, the first cycle of uh, first stage of yeah, arc first two. First stage of arc two. Whereas now they're you know stage they're cycle like three, three, stage two. Yeah. So yeah, they have a, they've they've gone through uh, a bit more. And like I said, you get one shot. If 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 they remove your thread, they're gone. Don't get that oh, I like that shield. shield. That's, That's cute. cute. I have faith. It'll be soon. Yeah, now there is a guarantee. There's a guarantee that there is. This, is cool there, this, there, is this looks like, like a... um... within this arc. You just don't know where. You just don't know where. You don't know which stage. That's why we're, we're all nervous. Because yeah, yeah, we, we know nervous. it's coming. Yeah, it's like, well, how do we deal with it? Exactly. And not only that, as the stages progress and get a little bit more difficult, that Marauder, when they show up, is going to be more difficult. We're gonna get it. It's gonna, literally you're gonna, right you're gonna get it on boss. cycle four, stage three. <laughs> of course, you're gonna we be are. that boss, yeah. Of course, because that's how my RNG works. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I love the clickety clack. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody's everybody's getting sweaty. Everybody's concentrating. Yeah, yeah, everybody's getting sweaty in here. <laughs> you will notice that there's more monsters here. Like when they were in arc one, there was a little bit. Uh, less that that's one of the knobs that we have to turn to, to kind of out difficulty you're gonna fight more monsters stage three complete it is time for another boss and you're on what cycle three three cycle yeah. four so this, three. Is, this is three okay okay who you got I like that we've seen all kinds Ooh, of oh look we got uh, Kalurian from uh, Fang Lair so I do like that they've seen a unique selection of bosses we've gone through here. Like I said, there's 60 plus bosses that we've kind of curated. Oh, we have a friend. Oh, oh, and I'm sure, sure they're going to put more in. Oh, yay. There's oh, 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 he's, he's coming. coming. He's, he's here. here. He's, he's here. here. He's here. The, the, the stupid, stupid ship. ship. And what, uh, that is another piece of side content. It shows up only in boss arenas. And so at the end of cycles. And if you're able to kill it, it's, again, more chances for loot. So you don't know when that's going to show up uh and so you, you basically head on a swivel keep keep your wits about you so that you can see when that shows up and look at that you got a oh lead. you got a lead always skipping the empty soul gems <laughs> <laughs> on live i'd loot them because yeah. i'd fill them up yeah yeah right but on dev or well, not wherever we rc are. wherever yeah, we, are. Right, right, right. we are pets deal more damage that see that's pretty sexy but <laughs> not <having> pets yeah <laughs> Get more health recovery. That. That's actually really useful. That is very useful. Yes. So now we're so heading now, into uh, cycle four. Yep. More cool new spaces. So look, there's my there's visions his now. visions. So you can, you can see, see that I'm he's really very trying to build stuff up. Absolutely. You can see the stack counts. It's a lot. <laughs> and then yep. yeah, like look at the freaking world building. Yeah. We, uh, like I said, this is in apocrypha, so you're definitely going to see some of those elements put together uh, in kind of a unique way. <gasps> there he is. There he is. Oh, there he is. Marauder in the ground. Lauren was ready. Uh, so there it is. This is okay. the Marauder. Well, uh, we should say Marauder comes yeah, in. Don't so kill the, uh, there's enough Fable too uh, with him. Uh, okay. Yeah, so you can see Hilgrax, it's, it's one of the Scions. Just leave the. Oh, ooh, Richard Bell died. <laughs> Just leave the Fable. I think we can. So. Uh, I got Dungeon Healer. All right, we'll leave the Fable. Yeah, he's just there's a reason why we're doing this. There's a reason why you're doing that. So if it as you, so the stages progress, whether or not you keep going or uh, uh, or not. So uh, this is a totem master who summons I'm these. Pull That's, him out you're of here. Leave that fable you. there. <laughs> that totem master is gonna uh, play hell here. If you were to defeat that fable, then uh, the, next the next wave, wave of monsters would pe would appear, and you would have probably another fable, and then a whole lot of other monsters. So and a whole lot of they're problems. using some high level strats here to go ahead and take out this. Uh, but this look at marauder. The health on this guy. Oh yeah, he's gosh. he's got he's got a lot of health. There's so uh, much. Go away from the <laughs> you're, you're eating <laughs> a, a whole right lot. There. You got this. Yeah, you got this. I, I have faith. So this is arc two. So like I said, this guy will disappear if if they were to to wipe here and die and not actually able uh, to, uh, defeat, uh, uh -oh, to defeat to defeat him. I'm gonna cleave the uh, yeah. 
if they were able to not actually defeat him, then he would just go away, and then you wouldn't have a chance. You wouldn't get that loot moment. He's super beefy. He's <laughs> very scary. I'll stand over here for a little bit. Yeah, and like I said, you can see how difficult this is. Just arc two, and you can see kind of how right. how difficult this guy is. So at further arcs, it gets even yeah, more. Yeah, you can imagine. More, uh, I'm gonna, I'll pull him out. Of and this is also, also a rich playing. playing. Uh -oh. oh, you defeated oh, it. No. Now you got the wave of monsters. Oh, no. that are to... <laughs> I was worried I was going to get clean. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Just try to kill Just try and we'll kill just, stuff. We'll just That's the it. goal. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, for those of you wondering, uh, this is what we, we were kind of waiting for. We back. wanted to show this off uh, to players and stuff. After this, I think we're going to. Hey, we'll probably Actually, it's the last one we can kill. Yeah, yeah, we can. There we go. So, the Marauder is down. My heart <laughs> did it. <laughs> they get another loot moment here. We get like I said, you got a lead. Fortunes, they got a lead. lead. And you got this Rasslin Dagger. Verse. Ooh, and oh, you got a verse and, and a dagger. dagger. Cool. cool. So, that is uh, a taste. Archive. A taste of taste Endless Archive. A taste of Endless Archive. Yeah, yeah. 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 We, uh, and again, like you said earlier, this is... Systemically, systemically endless. endless. So you can I mean, see we're that... we're choosing to stop here, <laughs> but we yes. could keep going right. forever, For sure. I guess, yeah. uh, or until Ooh. or until everybody here kicks us out. <laughs> right, right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, again, this is coming to our public test server, the PTS, on Monday, September 18th. If you have an active PC account, you can access the PTS. There's a little drop down on the launcher where you. <laughs> My bad. So yeah, there's a drop down on your launcher to access the test server and you can download, give it a try on Monday. So as we mentioned at the beginning of the stream, uh, we do have a lot more other in-game events and activities coming to ESO through the end of the year that we just wanted to touch on. The first is Secrets of the Telvanni, which we had talked about earlier today. This is an in-game event that celebrates the latest Necrom chapter that just came out. So all you have to do is engage in just about any type of chapter content, so questing or fighting or looting, and then you earn reward boxes, bonus drops, and event tickets. However, that is not all. So during this event, there is going to be a special daily event quest that we are challenging all of you to complete. The more of you that complete this quest, the more this meter fills up. And oh, it's the, the meter, meter thing, thing that they, they do every year. year. So, shall we tell them maybe what the rewards are that they can unlock? Let's, Let's go. go. Stream's over at yeah. 428. We're done. <laughs> We're done. Let's let's share because we have the assets ready. We got it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so the first one is at 33%. It is going to be an ebony scarab pet that so you cute. see here. It's so cute. Oh, oh that is a little adorable pet. 33%. If we fill the meter to 66%, everyone will receive the Nightmare's Nest marking. Oh, oh those are tight too, too actually. actually. Now, at 100%, there is a really cool item. You have to make sure you complete the quest, though. Yes. But if Trouble, you please. if you fill up the challenge meter, <laughs> we will be giving everyone who owns the Necrom chapter this amazing house. Oh! House, 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 house in the mountains! mountains. They're all cheering. Let's go! <laughs> we're, we're hearing it in our heads. Let's go! <laughs> so awesome. yeah. so, there is going to be an additional twist on earning an additional bonus reward, but we're going to describe Yay. all of that in the website article that is coming soon. Ooh. Again, this starts September 28th, runs through October 10th. So be sure and participate. Complete that quest we talked about, and as long as you own Necrom, you can earn those rewards that are shown on your screen here, which includes the house, if we fill the challenge meter all the way. All right, so along with Secrets of the Telvanni, let's talk around, uh, talk around, talk around, talk, talk around. around. <laughs> let's talk about some more in-game events that are coming to ESO this year. The first is Witches Festival coming in October. Now what's cool about this year's Witches Festival is we are going to begin decorating towns. So, oh, I'm getting into the holiday that's spirit. That's it. The, the screenshots taken by one that's of our creators, Matea. She actually discovered this the last PTS cycle when we were testing this event. She was like, wait a second. <laughs> that's right. What's going what's on here? Yeah. 
Surprise! So starting with Witches Festival in October, you will see some jack-o'-lanterns and just some, some holiday spirit around Tamriel, which is pretty cool. After that, in November, is going to be the Gates of Oblivion celebration, and then we'll be wrapping up the year in December with the New Life Festival. Now, we also have a number of out-of-game activations as well that we're working on. The first is Tess October, which we've done a number of years now, we're hosting this on ESO social channels, so we're working on all the prompts right now. There are going to be some good ones this year. We can't wait to see all the things that you guys create. Um, another thing that we're working on is a player competition kind of tied to Endless Archive. So we're still working out details on that, but definitely stay tuned <laughs> for more information because I think it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, it will. We yeah. are also partnering with the charity No Kid Hungry this October. Now, this is a nonprofit that is working to solve um, the problems of hunger and poverty all around the world. So again, stay tuned for details. We'll have a website article and we'll have a Tiltify link for everybody to join if you would like to participate in that charity campaign. Additionally, <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to kind of just wait, wait, there's, wait, more. There, there's even more. I'm just trying to get through everything here. Uh, we are excited to remind everyone we are bringing ESO Japanese localization to consoles. So if you're interested in hearing more about this, we will have information happening uh, during Tokyo Game Show coming up, I think, next week. Which, are you going Tokyo, to that? When's Tokyo I get, Game Show? I get on a plane Monday morning. There yeah, you go. So Heading I'll be to there, Japan? Be there, Japan. and then I go to PAX Australia right after. So uh, yeah. it's going to be a long trip. A lot of travel. It's the rich world tour. <laughs> I, I, right. I feel so sorry for you. <laughs> you I get know, to right? travel the world. It's 46 <laughs> hours of flights in three weeks. You know what this is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of flying. It's going to be fun. Don't get assaulted by a kangaroo. Or a drop bear. Or a drop bear. Does that happen? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <You're> so serious. <laughs> <laughs> They're vicious. Everything is vicious. It's in true. Australia. In Australia, uh, yes. right? Yes. Uh, one last thing. You may have heard earlier today that um, the Xbox Game Pass core service has just started today. Uh, we are excited to say that ESO is part of that offering. So if you want to mm -hmm. learn more about Xbox Game Pass core, you can head to the Xbox website. They have all the details there. All right, so we talked about a lot of stuff Breath. today. We absolutely did. Uh, that was a lot. Update 40 coming on Monday on PTS. This is a free update for everybody. It's not a DLC. Endless Archive is part of Update 40, which is really exciting. It also includes the, um, the Grandmaster Crafting Stations, Jewelry Crafting Rebalance, which, again, that was a lot of words that Rich gave, but we'll, we'll detail everything Tried in past shorts. We have a new group finder coming, and then a few more just little things that, again, will be in the PTS patch notes on Monday. Uh, this update is launching October 30th for PC and Mac, November 14th for Xbox and PlayStation consoles, so you do not have to wait very long nope. to play this content once it goes live. All right, so right now I think we're going to kick it over to Deltia for a post show. Finn will be there to chat with him more about Endless Archive and answer some questions. I want to give a huge thank you to Rich, to Lauren, to Finn for joining us today, showing you a preview of what's coming in Update 40. And we can't wait to see you guys hop on PTS on Monday. Give us some feedback. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And thank you to everybody in the background. Yeah. That absolutely. is hiding back everybody there, keeping there. this running, running yeah. this. Yes. Uh, we really, really appreciate it coming in, staying in this hot room. It's very <laughs> hot. With us all it's a little heat box right now, but it's to us fine. blather away about something we're so passionate about and so much we love. So I want to thank all of you for joining, too. Thanks for hanging out absolutely. with us today. And we will see you next time. Oh, yeah, so, so, um... um I wasn't, I wasn't here, here for the group finder thing, thing, but it sounds like, like um, you, can you can actually customize the group finder now, which is pretty, pretty sick. sick. I, I actually enjoyed that. that. And, and then, then um, they, were they were talking about the plating, no more veins, so it's going to be like just plates that come out. So, there goes the economy in a way. Woo! But, but GG on, on that. Uh, um, that's, that's, that's pretty, pretty much everything, everything guys. guys. You know, you know thanks, thanks, thank you again, again for watching. Um, if, if you if you get, get into our, our Discord, um, make, make sure you guys, you guys uh, you know, make sure you guys uh, deal uh, with, uh, with you know signing, signing up or whatever, whatever if you want to be in our Discord. Um, and, um, and I mean, that's, I mean, that's, that's, that's all I can, I can tell you guys. guys. Thank you, thank you so much, much um, for, for, for everything. everything. And 
you know, you know if, if, if you guys, guys uh, uh, like, like I said, if you guys, guys want, want to be part of our Discord, Discord definitely, definitely um, go, go in there. there. And, and thanks, thanks a lot, lot boosters, boosters, um, myself, um, myself, score, score music 09, X Ring X, X and Mark 271. And uh, uh, I think Delta is gonna have his uh, post game show with Rich or Finn, I believe. So. Yep, yep, there, there you go. go. Thank, Thank you guys, guys for watching, watching and have, have a cool day. day.